So I'm going to start assembling the one of my pencil post beds. Um, what I recommend is that you do it on a carpeted floor. I'm going to use this table. Um, I don't have a nice carpeted floor in my shop. So I lay down the um, head rail and uh, all the rails are labeled on the end. This says HR which stands for head right. Um, it will be HL on this side and the right rail will be labeled RH for right foot and R, um, R, RH for right head and RF for right foot and the side, uh, the left will be left LH and LF. Um, so we want the headboard. The headboard is also labeled um, head right and it's got a signature on the back of it so that should be obvious. We need to take uh, the posts and just tap them into, I like to start on the headboard and then get the uh, head rail started. Having two people makes this all go a little easier. I use my hands to just tap these into place and um, get all your hardware out of the way and we'll get this one joint bolted. So here we are at the first joint. We need to get that bolted to hold things together. Um, there should be eight of these bolts. Um, with a washer for the outside, a uh, washer for the inside, and a nut. And uh, these have been blackened. They're still going to be oiled and waxed. Um, it'll make that a little darker and nicer looking. Um, but I'm just putting this together in order to uh, cut the bed slats to fit. But uh, So put the bolt in, slide the washer on, and you can use your hands to put this together or um, if it's easier, you could use needle nose pliers to hold that nut in place while you spin the bolt into it. Now to tighten it up, you're gonna need an 11 sixteenths wrench, open end wrench to put on the nut, and a 5 eighths wrench or socket for the head. I like to use a socket, they're just a little faster, but you can use an open end wrench or an adjustable wrench. And snug that up tight. So everything's in here and we will go to the other end, get the other post on. So it's the same drill here. Um, We've got the one post bolted, and I want to get the other, again I like to fit in that headboard first because you got two joints to worry about, tap that in. If you need to, you could tap with a wrapped mallet, this is a rubber mallet with cloth over it. is the best but you know don't try not to bruise your hand but uh, if that'll work that's the best best way to do it get your bolt in there I'm going to use uh, needle nose pliers on this one hold that straight get the bolt to catch it snug it up as far as you can with your hand and then finish with the wrench.
Now, the headboard, you don't want to crank it completely here until you know the headboard is joint is tight. So I'm going to hit that in, then tighten. And I'm going to check this end also, make sure that's in. And this is where a little, a little tapping is nice. Make sure that's in tight. That headboard joint is a floating joint. So um, it allows the board to uh, expand and contract seasonally. And to put a, uh, yeah, I suppose you could bolt that, but generally they're not, uh, traditionally they're not bolted, they're just hung there between the posts. So now we're all set to, um, we're going to stand this up. And if you were in your house, you'd stand it up against the wall, leaning against the wall. Again, having two people for this is, uh, is the best way to work. So now that I've got the uh, headboard up here, it's leaning against, I've got it leaning against a padded sawhorse. Um, leaning this against your wall would probably be the best thing. And now what I need to do is find the rail I want to start with. It doesn't matter which you start with, but I'm going to start with the right side. And I'm going to look for the end. This says RH, right head. So I've got the end on a carpet is great. Um, I've got it on a little piece of cardboard here on the floor. Use some laundry if you need to. And I've just set the bottom of the tenon into the mortise. And uh, now I've got to find the next bolt. And my tools, and this is best done with two people. I've learned how to do this myself. So get your bolt ready, washer on the outside, washer for the inside. And what I'm gonna do is lean this forward. This is where it's nice to have help. I'm gonna put this against my shoulder and my arm so I can handle it if it was to get away from me. Then you're going to insert the bolt, insert the washer, and get the nut onto the end of the bolt. This time your bolt is really going to pull that right in. And snug that right up. Now the next thing we'll do is put in the foot post. So in order, in order to do that, we're going to have to lift. Uh, this post is labeled FR, foot right. Now I'm going to make sure I've got a mortise going over for the foot rail. And so what you, if you've got that lined up, you can't go wrong. So just lift it up, put the end in there. Bang it in with your hand, and that will stay there. Going to need another bolt on there. Now it's a little easier because it's not at an angle. Now at some point you're going to need to spread the bed apart. Um, this joint, well this joint can be left hand tight. Just and have a little gap in there. 
the last rail, you're going to have to spread the posts apart to get in. So it's good to leave a couple of these loose. That first one you want to tighten right up though. Um, now we need the next rail, the foot rail. 